Okay, what I've got here tonight is a Obsession Delta 6. It's uh, 28 and a half inches, 65 pounds, and I'm running into a little bit of trouble tonight. It uh, is wanting to tear a little bit, not lift, when I'm shooting it. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. Uh, the rest is set exactly where it needs to be. It's at 13 sixteenths, and that's the sweet spot for these bows. So if you're getting a bow that the rest is set up properly, but it's still tearing through the paper, or you're getting not that great an arrow flight, this is how you fix these bows. People that like a, a split yoke harness system where you can tweak one leg or the other of the harness and get that working, that's fine, but when you change strings out, you gotta reaccomplish that tune on these bows. Uh, on these Obsession with the two-track cam, once you get that shimmed right, and that's what we're gonna be doing in a minute, once you get it shimmed right, and you can change strings and cables any time you need to, you just re-time re the cams, set it to poundage and draw length, and, and get going from there. So, show you what the paper's tearing like here, and I'll show you how I'm going to fix it, and we'll get back to it. <clears throat> Not that much of a knock lift tear. It's a little low, and a little left. That's what it's been doing a little bit more, is tearing a little bit more knock lift. So here we go with fixing it. These little guys are what we're changing out. Okay, it's taking me just a couple of minutes to get the shims knocked out of each side and get them replaced with the ones that will move the cam a little bit further to the left. You want to chase wherever the rear end of your arrow is tearing. So I move the cam to the left here as you're shooting the bow. I'm going to move the paper over just a little bit and uh, give it another shot. <clears throat> And you can see that that has changed dramatically with just that shim change out right there. Let me shoot a bare shaft and see what I can get it to do. A little knock low. Change the grip up just a little bit. There we go. There's a nice bullet hole with a bare shaft and a nice bullet hole with a flat shaft. All that's just from changing those little spacers out right there. 
Don't be afraid to change the shims out. It's something that uh, is real easy. It just takes a couple of minutes to do it. You need a micrometer so that you can tell how thick the ones you're replacing are, and you need the proper shims. But uh, once you got the right tools, a little bit of know-how, hopefully this helps you guys out.